Where or how do we record a best time? Well, let's not overthink it. We need to record it into a variable, right? So let's create a best time under our lap time and it's going we'll just set it as a public so we can see it in unity and it's going to be a float we're going to call it the best time and obviously it's going to be equal to zero when we first start the best time is going to be put in down here if we go through the start finish and we've gone through both checkpoints we're going to stop the timer and we're going to set the best time to the lap time. But we're not going to do this every time. We're only going to do this if. So if the best time or if the lap time is less than the best time, we are going to set sure we don't wreck these brackets we are going to set the best time to the lap time we only want to do it if we've run a shorter quicker lap time right but this doesn't work if we're set to zero from the start because how do we ever run a best time that's how do we ever run a lap time that's zero that's impossible so we're going to put another if statement just up here and say if the best time is still at zero or hasn't been set basically then we're also going to set the best time to the lap time okay now how do we show this that's quite simple we create another canvas element item I'll just go back to game view because then we can see that the, here is our lap time just for reference and I will duplicate this and we'll call this our best time I'll go capital T best time just so we can read it a bit better and we will instead of putting it at the top left here I will put it on the right so holding shift click and holding alt click so separately holding shift and then let go of shift and then hold alt and it's not quite in the corner here because we've aligned there's an invisible text box here and it's aligned to the left of that text box so if we align it to the right of that text box it will go to the far right corner and we need to give it some padding so we will give it a little bit le left of the on the X and we'll bring it down a bit just use your best judgment okay so remember what we did with the L time or the lap time we're going to copy this line and we're going to say the B time for best time I might just now I'll leave those I was going to rename them so they're less confusing but that's all right in here so after we've gone through the checkpoints and we've stopped the timer and we have set the best time we then want to set just like we set it here I'll just copy this we want to set the B time best time to best and not the lap time the best time to string at two decimal places let's see if this works I'll just get rid of those two labels I was just putting them there so we could see us moving the labels around the canvas elements let's push play find a reference to the B time 
and that's because we didn't click on the car we created a new uh, text object here but we didn't say what that text object actually was we need to drag in the best time label into here okay let's try that again then that when I went through the start finish nothing happened we did the timer didn't start again so we've got this is our going to be our next problem here that's a part of recording the best time when we go through we want to actually start it again that whole process and keep keep recording a best time and starting the timer again every time we go through the start finish so in our logic here we're gonna to have to change up a few things The first thing is, let's look at, let's scroll back over here, let's look at what's happening here. If we look at the checkpoints, and if we've gone through the checkpoints, then we're going to stop the timer, set it to false. And if they are not true, then it must mean that we need to start the timer. We're actually going to move this stuff from out of this else and away from being a part of this first if statement and move it. I'm going to move this stuff up to the top and into its own new if statement. And we're going to say here if the start timer is equal to false, meaning if we haven't started the timer yet. and I'll just clean this this else up here because this this else belongs to this if statement here and we don't have a, an else or any code that, that belongs to this if statement anymore but if this start timer is equal to false meaning if we start the game and we haven't started the timer yet then start the timer fair enough we're going to set the checkpoints to false fair enough and the only way to stop the timer still is to go through the checkpoints. So we go through the checkpoints. If we visualize it, we're going through the checkpoints now. We're going to set those to true. And then we're going to come back around and then go through the start finish object again. This time, the checkpoints are true. We're going to, we're going to set the start timer to false. We're going to set the best time and we're going to show the best time up the top right of the screen, all in a split second remembering that we've set the start time into false and because it's this is all happening in a split second we're coming back up and we're still over the object because it's all happening very fast and if we go through this again because we're entering the on trigger we're on this we're still on the start finish object and now suddenly the start timer has been set to false because we did it down here we went through the checkpoints we've set all the best times and we displayed the best time and now it's going to come up here and restart the timer set it to true so we can restart the timer set the checkpoints to false again so we need to go through the checkpoints again there's one thing we're missing here though we need to set the lap time back to zero so let's see if that works clear this off starts So that's working perfectly now. We have uh, the start and finish game object in our scene, resetting the timer and recording the timer into the best lap time, and it requiring us to go through both of these. So we can't just go through it and then come back here. It needs to, it requires us to trigger and go through uh, one and 
and checkpoint number two and then come back and then it sets the best time if you've gone through those sets the best time and then displays it at the top right and once it's done that because you set the timer the start timer boolean back to false because we're still on the object we're still traveling through this object it starts the timer again you all in a split second so going back to our list of things to do we've started the timer with the trigger start we've got the timer working basically with the debug.log which is early on we set the set up the canvas to display the timer we've actually set up the timer now to or set the canvas up to display the best time as well we've stopped the timer using checkpoints uh, we've gone one better and we've recorded the best time through using checkpoints the last thing in this sort of game is we'll move these checkpoints into their positions on the map we want to know what happens or we want to fix what happens if we fall off the map so that'll be in our next video.